Hey guys, it's Saturday, May 21st. I'm currently in Ithaca, New York to celebrate my sister's graduation tomorrow. I'm currently taking a walk around the campus. Well, kind of the campus, the apartment complex area where she lives. I miss doing this a lot, mainly because I like walking. And since I moved to Ohio, I haven't walked a whole lot, mainly because Ohio is so flat and I don't feel like I get anything out of it when I walk. Because obviously this is not Ohio with that behind me. Being here for her graduation kind of makes me think about my graduation two years ago. Yeah, that doesn't seem like that long ago, but at the same time, that's two years of being in the real world. That's two years of a new type of growth. That's two years of trial and error, seeing what works and what doesn't. So I wanted to take this time just to think about and look kind of introspectively at the last year. So by the time you guys see this, which will be Thursday of this week, whatever day that is, the 26th, I think, there'll be one day of school left. And if you remember back in the fall, I made a video the day before the first day of school. And I was all giddy and excited and ready to start the new school year and excited for the new opportunities I was gonna have. Tomorrow is the first day of school and I got a lot to do tonight. So, so far this week it's been a lot of meetings. It's been a lot of meetings with the teachers, it's been a lot of meetings regarding technology, it's been a lot of me planning, well not so much planning, but getting the rooms ready. And I still have a little bit of that giddy and excitedness, but it's toned down a little bit more since the school year has progressed. I'm really excited to start the school year next year, but between now and then there's a lot that has to happen. Probably one of the most important things that I feel needs to happen right now is I need to figure out some sort of curriculum. Not to say the school doesn't have a curriculum, they do, it's just outdated. And my goal this summer is to look at the curriculum and see where can I make things different? Where can I change things to make them more to the present day and cater them to the type of students that I have? The other thing I really need to look at and really contemplate about is my classroom management policies. Are they bad now? No, not really. They're okay, but I could easily make them better now that I know what type of students I have to deal with. The last thing that I really want to talk about that I would like to do next year, and hopefully I will be able to do this, is I want to play music more. When I was in college, you had to be in the ensemble because that was a requirement for the music education degree. You had to play in ensembles. Yes, they were requirements, and yes, they were kind of annoying at times and took up my time, but now that I'm not in them anymore, I really miss playing, and I really miss being a part of a group making music together. Thankfully, I live very close to the university, so there's opportunities next year that I might be able to have. If you were to ask me how I would rate this year in terms of development, in terms of growth, I would say this year is a good eight and a half to a nine. I have a better understanding of what it means to be a teacher. Granted, it's still very flawed because it was only my first year. But at the same time, I don't feel like the same person I was when I started. If I were to rate my planning and preparation, unfortunately, I would have to give that a four or a five if I'm generous. One of the hardest things that I found about this year was the planning and preparation of everything. And I feel like I really need to work on that for next year. And it's very easy to do considering I have an entire summer to develop plans that will work. And if I were to rate myself on the professionalism and my professional development, a seven to an eight possibly. The last question that I would have with possible rating would be, do I think this year was successful? And that's a loaded question, to be honest, because different people measure success in different ways. We've talked about this in previous videos about how certain people in their profession would measure success. Different people measure success different ways, as we talked about. For example, I would measure my success based on the concerts, which, by the way, the spring concert, I gave it two thumbs up. I can only give it one thumb up now because the other thumb is holding the camera. So, yes, I would have to say that this year was successful. But it's my first year, and I'm hoping that this isn't my most successful year. Because if it does become that, then I'm surely doing it wrong by the time I reach my 35th year. I'm hoping for the best next year. My responsibilities are going to kick up a little bit because of teachers retiring and whatnot. But it's looking great, and it's looking like I'm going to be there for a while. And I really want to be there a while because it's a great community, and it's a great school, and I really enjoy it there a lot. I'll see all of you guys next week. Take care, and have a safe and awesome Memorial Day weekend. There is something definitely wrong with this brick.